What is up, no coders? Zaz here. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can embed a Stripe customer portal straight into your Webflow website so that your customers can go in and self manage their subscriptions. This is a passwordless and secure way for your customers to access sensitive data that lives behind a login page on your Webflow site. This is great for any digital service selling a subscription that lives outside of Webflow, such as the example that we used last time, which is a paid newsletter. Without further ado, let's jump into it. I am so excited for you all to see this. So just to show you all how this looks in Webflow, this is my the customer portal page that I've created. It's a single page that's going to hold the customer data, but it's going to be gated with this login page. So when your customers go to your website backslash customer portal or whatever you name that page, they're actually going to be presented with a login page first. And then once they add in their email, they get a link, they click that link and are able to access their data. And we're gonna see that in a second. But let me show you how you even get the script in the first place. So from Billflow, we are going to create a new customer portal and we're going to name it Invest Utopia Portal. And from here, we're just going to configure it to include all of the settings that we want our users to have. So for me, I want my users to be able to change their plan, um, allow them to resubscribe, enable coupons, and maybe show only active subscriptions. And then that looks great to me. Oh, and when a user goes to cancel, I want them to be asked for their cancellation reason, and I want them to be able to cancel immediately. That all looks great. Now, because we enabled plan change, we are going to have to define the product or service that our users are going to have to upgrade or downgrade from. So in our case, that's going to be Invest Utopia. And if you do not know how products should be set up in Stripe, I will link that up above or in the description below so you can watch that video as well. And from there, once we've selected our product, we are going to define our plan change setting. So I wanna display product description. I don't have an image. Um, I want to show all tiers. I don't want to disable anything. And this looks great to me. If you want to, you can hide the interval select selector as well, but I have a monthly and a yearly, so I'm not going to do that. And then from here, if I want to add a features list, I can do that. I don't want to do that. We have our checkout settings as well. Um, now this is for someone who's going to be upgrading or downgrading. So I don't really want to ask them for a name on the card. I just want them to be able to confirm. Um, and that looks great. You can design it, you can change the language, and we have advanced settings as well, but I won't be touching any of that. The last piece that we want is to, now this is the important piece of it all. We want to enable email auth. Now from here, we are going to add, we want to define our from name. That's the name that's going to show up in the email that your customers receive. So for me, I want it to say uh, Zaz from Billflow um, and the URL for the portal. So for us, that's going to be this link right here. Paste that in and company logo at a hosted link. That's going to appear in the footer. Actually, I'm going to get that from right here. Let's go to hit, take that and paste that in. And we are ready to embed. So we are going to save this baby. HTML, copy the code, go into Webflow if you haven't already, add an HTML embed block, 
and just paste it in. Save and close and hit publish. Now let's reload this page and enter in an email. Submit that. Let's go to our email. And there we have it. Zaz from Billflow has sent me an email to access my portal. Your customer will click that link and boom, your customers can now cancel their subscription change their plan, upgrade, downgrade. They can update their card or download their invoices. And that's it, you guys. That is how you embed a Stripe customer portal so that your customers can go in and manage their subscriptions. It doesn't get any easier than this. And I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you'd like to play around with this and test it out for yourself, click the link in the description box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.